Hey, this is PJ with CLK Supplies, and this is the Ilco Keyblink Directory Guide. Um, the one that we'll be looking at today is the 12th edition, um, but this uh, Keyblink Directory Guide has been the backbone of locksmiths and key people looking up uh, key blanks to identify them and to find the proper keyway. Um, as a matter of fact, I remember um, when I was six years old, my dad would, uh, I'd be up at his key shop cutting keys for customers and, you know, of course a customer would bring in a key I couldn't identify and I'd go to him and the first question he'd always ask me is, have you looked in the book yet? Right? So I've had a lot of years in this book and uh, this is um, something that if you struggle with looking up different keyway profiles or sometimes when a customer brings a key in and you just feel lost trying to identify it, um, this book can definitely um, help you out and, and get you going in the right direction. Now, um, this particular 12th edition has been out for a while, so there are keys that Ilco currently makes um, that aren't in this book. Or if another key blank manufacturer um, is making a key, obviously that's not going to be in Ilco's book. So um, it's a good reference to use, uh, but it's not going to have every key in it. Um, now, you can get this uh, information in three forms, right? You can get it in this print version right here. Um, you can get it in a CD-ROM version, which is going to be a just a P, uh, PDF document. Um, or you can go to Ilco's website and you can actually download all the sections um, for free. So when you buy this printed book, you're only really paying for the printing. This book, you're just paying for the CD-ROM. Uh, so Ilco wants to get that information to you, and um, it's definitely a great reference. So um, let me open up this book and just kind of give you a quick overview and um, point out a couple things that uh, sometimes get some people um, a little confused. Uh, so I'll open up to the table of contents here, and you can see um, it just kind of listed in section, color-coded, vehicle, cylinder, originals, safety deposit box, uh, flat steel. Um, these are really good sections because a lot of guys don't seem to stock a lot of uh, safety deposit or flat steel keys. And so if a customer brings in a key, I'm um, having this book where you can open up and look at the different ones and order in the right key um, is definitely a, a great help. Um, next, uh, it's, we're going to go on here, and it's just going to kind of give you a basic uh, overview on how it works, um, the page setup, the key drawings, and checking the million profiles. Um, this is really a big one here, checking the million profiles. And I'm going to uh, move to a page here, and I'll kind of um, explain that to you. Um, before I do that, though, um, you can go to the index where you can look up a key, um, go to the page number, make it easy. Um, they also have some uh, competitor key, uh, key blank cross-reference guides in here for you. Um, but all right, so let's just uh, stop here for a moment and I'll show you. So um, when you're looking at the key, and let's look at this WB1 uh, key right here. Um, it's going to show a 100% uh, uh, scale uh, picture of the key or drawing of the key, and then it's going to show this little... Uh, uh, profile of the key right here. Now, a lot of guys are going to want to look at the customer's key like this, right? You know, you, you want to look down it, and then you're going to look at this, and you're going to try to match it up. But that's not how um, these little uh, profiles are in here for us. They're in here for you to take the customer's key or the existing key and to put it down on the actual profile and see if it lines up perfect. So if you are looking at the key like this, and you're trying to um, match it up, the key you're going to find is going to be the reverse. So you want to make sure that you're always putting this down. And then you can always, you know, take the key, um, the customer's key, put it on here and see um, if the shoulder length is the same and all that kind of stuff. So um, that's really, really helpful when you're um, trying to identify a key. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you um, in this book here, let me just move to a section, um, is the... Um, the key charts and what that uh, looks like and how that can help you. Um, hang with me here. Let me just find one. Uh, here we go, Sergeant. It's perfect. Um, so um, these uh, key charts here can be a little confusing to someone if you have never really spent some time looking at it. And um, is pretty much is what is what's going on here is. Uh, these top keys are all individual keys, right? And they work, they're going to work in those um, keyways. Um, but if you look at uh, this key here, it has lines right up to these three um, keyways. What that means is that this key is milled in a, in a way um, that's going to fit in all three of these keyways right here. 
right? Same with this one. So these three keys, this key is going to fit in all three of these keys. Um, same with this, this one here, these three, this key will fit in all these three. Now, this key is going to also fit in these two, which means it will also fit in all six of these keys. And then um, last but not least, like this key here, it's gonna go up and it's gonna work on these three. And then it's gonna go, it's gonna work for this key, it's gonna work for these two, and then it's gonna work for these six. So um, what does that mean and why is it important? Uh, I would say there's two main reasons. One, um, if you um, don't have like this uh, 100 um, HA key, uh, you could use the 1007 HD key if you need. Um, also, some guys like to get creative and they want to put like uh, one building on this keyway, one building on this keyway, one building on this keyway, and then they're going to put the master key. They're going to use this key for the master. So these keys aren't even going to slide into each other's buildings, but this key will work for all of them. Um, the other reason is sometimes uh, if you get some oddball keys in um, and you can't afford to stock all these different keyway profiles, you can always step down and you know just uh, stock the master key knowing that it's going to work for all of those. So th that's um, two uh, great reasons to um, look at these charts and um, see how they can help your business. But this is the Key Blank uh, Reference Guide by Ilco. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.